against the Bellator cage. Huge opportunity for Patricia Vidonic getting a rematch versus Jessica Aguilar, who is the consensus number one ranked female fighter in all of MMA at 115 pounds. These two fought February 2012, and it was Aguilar winning a unanimous decision. Vidonic said, I did everything wrong in that fight, and I know what to do right this time around. Which is pretty much what you would expect the fighter to say. Yeah, right, so you gotta say. Around. Say anything you want beforehand. You gotta back it up in the cage. Let's see how she does against the number one in the division. There she is, Jessica Aguilar. Born in Mexico, based here in South Florida out of Coconut Creek. Extremely popular in her own state. Extremely popular in women's MMA. Looking for her 15th pro victory. A lot of pressure on Aguilar carrying that label. Number one ranked female fighter in the world at 115 pounds. I don't think that gets to her. She loves to fight, always has a positive attitude. Let's see what happens tonight. Tonight from the USF Sun Dome, Bellator MMA now returns to the women's 115 pound division set for three five minute rounds. Introducing first the red corner. At five foot two, she weighed in 115 pounds. Her professional record, seven victories, four defeats, fighting out of Billings, Montana, little Patricia Vadane. And across the cage, her opponent fighting out of the blue corner at five foot four, weighing in 114.6 pounds, ranked as the world's number one. She stands with 14 professional victories, four defeats. Originally from Veracruz, Mexico, she fights out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Jessica Chad Aguila. And the referee in charge of the contest, George Ortiz. Here we, go, here we go now in the women's 115-pound division. Patricia Vidonic versus Jessica Aguilar. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Dave and Busters. Visit DaveAndBusters.com. And the reason she is number one, 14 and 4 against outstanding talent. Some of the best in the world for Jessica Aguilar. Round number one. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Donick in the black trunks, Aguilar ranked number one in the world in the women's 115 pound division is in the white trunks. The tight plum Aguilar. There's elbow from there. There's elbow from there. There's a good elbow from there too. There's straight elbow from there. Donick trying to throw to the body. Nice switch to the double leg. Looks like right now the cage is holding her up. And there's the takedown by Aguilar. Exactly where she wants to be. I've been able to grapple with Jessica. She's a great ground game, really excellent jujitsu. Donna getting back to half guard. Donna from the open half guard. A lot of heavy top pressure from Jessica Aguilar. Aguilar so methodical with her jujitsu, with her grappling. And with her striking too, very patient, very tight, hard to find an opening on her. See here on the, on the ground, not leaving anything behind. Vidonic walking her guard up very high. It's a submission guard, you're looking for something there. Trying to isolate the right arm. Jessica Aguilar, but she's tough to catch. Vidonic trying to get even higher with her guard. Looking for wrist control from the bottom. Elbow 
Close to the bottom by Patricia Vidonic. Undeterred comes Jessica Aguilar. She's trying to set up the submission by landing some strikes. Fighters showing a lot of patience. Dodd so far busier in this position on the ground. And some strikes from the bottom. Just Aguilar hasn't got her comfort level yet. On the ground, hasn't landed much ground and pound. No real attempt to pass. Donick again bringing up her closed guard, trying to be active. Donick throwing a lot from flat on her back, elbows and punches. And always aggressive, always threatening, so she's isolating that right arm. Hard to win a fight from the bottom, but so far it looks like that looks like what she's doing. Now Jack's starting to open up. Left hand from Aguilar. We've seen few strikes though from Aguilar in this top position. We haven't. She's been very defensive. And a high guard of Vidonic. So far it's been dangerous. It's kept Aguilar off balance. Hasn't been able to get her game going. Cage walk from Vidonic. I think she's on top. She's winning, but right now I wouldn't say that. Spike's Hire Event Campaign is teaming up with the Chamber of Commerce Hiring Our Heroes program to find the most veteran-friendly small business in America. Visit VetChampsTourney.com and enter to win a custom ad spot on Spike and trip to L.A. for the Guys' Choice Awards. 25 seconds remaining in this women's 115-pound fight. Trisha Vidonic in a rematch versus women's consensus number one at this weight class, Jessica Aguilar. Aguilar right back into the top position aggressively. Vidonic looking to roll to a better position to no avail. To the corner of Jessica Aguilar, our corner cam is presented by David Busters. Visit DavidBusters.com. We'll get your shoulders over inside. You have the half guard. Now we're going to try to pass the guard and start working more jujitsu, all right? Start making more damage. Yes. Jessica. Kick. See Ricardo Laborio giving kick advice to his well. fighter Jessica right. Aguilar. Thiago so Alves on the other side of the, the cage. Right there. Not a bad so corner to have. Right? If I were fighting and Laborio was in my away. corner, no matter what he told me, I would do. <laughs> Great jiu-jitsu on that guy. One of the best in the world. You ready? You ready? Jimmy, I just worked on throw number one. I went 10 9 Patricia Vidonic, although she was on her back. She was landing the elbows, going for the submission. Jessica Aguilar just didn't get much done from the top. 10 9. Now that's controversial, but that's the way I'm going. Jimmy, I think that's a great scorecard. And I think that's a great illustration of when a fighter can win a round being on her back. To the uninitiated, they think any time a fighter has the top game, they're winning, and that's simply not the case. That's not the way you judge MMA in 2013. Well done, Jimmy. Thanks, Sean. I'm glad you agree. Don, very aggressive in this second round. This is a rematch. 
is Aguilar. December, I beg your pardon, February 2012, Aguilar defeating Vidonic by way of three round unanimous decision. Smothering pressure from Aguilar. Vidonic's back against the cage. From Aguilar. It is free, it is fully interactive, and it is highly recommended by both Jimmy Smith and myself. It is the Bellator MMA app available right now for download. iPad, iPod Touch, iPhone, coming soon for Android. Real-time stats, fighter profiles, Bellator highlights, full fights, and you become the fourth judge. Got a good knee, good elbows. Aguilar so far denied the takedown. Robert Downey Jr. is giving a mean look right there to those two. It certainly is. It's a bit disconcerting. <laughs> Might freak out when we fight if you're not paying attention. I need from Vidonic. Good turn from Patricia Vidonic. Close rounds so far. Who's really going to put their stamp on it? Across the halfway line of this fight. For the first time now in this fight, it's Vidonic in the top position, Aguilar in the bottom position. She closes a low guard, now opens. Well, I thought Vidonic won the first round from her back. Can Aguilar do the same? Step over with the left knee by Vidonic, isolating the arm. Defended by Aguilar to get arm free. Is Aguilar keeping her tight? Working for the triangle, you see on the... What is Vidonic's left side? Working the wrist, but not able to get the leg over the shoulder. Let's work, let's work, let's work. All for action from referee George Ortiz. Donick obliges with two right hands to the body. Come on, let's work, let's work. Donick looking for the elbow strike. Short, short. Jessica so far looks very flat in this fight. Just for Donk on top, oh, some short shots, work. nothing devastating, but Aguilar not very busy from her back. Donk trying to get busy now, turning up the volume of strikes. Final minute of round two. Good pressure as well on top. Could an upset be brewing in the Bellator cage? Bellator has been known to produce a number of those. Come on, I gotta see you work down here. I gotta see you work. See, Aguilar trying to set up the right arm of Vidonic. Get those toes out, Jessica. Get the toes out, Jessica. What you're seeing there is Aguilar was trying to cage walk. Don't put your toes in the cage. You can't link what Aguilar is doing, your toes into the cage. You see her isolating the arm, going for the arm bar. It's going to be hard to extend here. She's stacked up well. See her yell, you hear her corner yelling, stack, stack. To keep that arm bent. Can Aguilar find this arm bar? Closing seconds of round number two. Vidonic looking to hold on. And there's the bell. Arms raised from Patricia Vidonic. How about that? She's got to be happy with the way things are going, Sean. A lot of swelling under the left eye of Jessica Aguilar. I'm going to go there. I'm going to trade with her. All right? I'm going to trade with her. And you're going to take her down. But listen to me. Third and final round of this fight in the women's 115-pound division is an upset coming. Patricia Vidonic versus Jessica Aguilar. Aguilar entering is the consensus number one in the world women's 115-pound division. Jimmy, how do you have it scored? I have it two rounds to none for Patricia Vidonic, both 10-9. On 
on top in that second round. Bosch landed some good ground and pound. The question is, does Aguilar know she's behind? Is she going to fight like she's behind and he needs the finish? It's an important question. Also a question, Jimmy. You scored round number one for Vidonic. I definitely agree with your scoring. I like your decision. But Vidonic was on bottom. You gave her the round because she was so effective with her striking from the bottom. Aguilar, other than holding top position, didn't do a lot. But that's pretty progressive thinking for a judge. We'll see what the three from the state of Florida is going to side have to say. That's a very close round. It's going to be controversial either way. Lee from Aguilar. Let's work, let's work. For action again from referee George Ortiz. Got the takedown. This time she's around the guard. You are trying to go to work from side control. Vidonic pinned against the base of the fence. See here, Aguilar's right arm is safe. Her elbow's completely out. She's got to work hard to pass, though. Something she couldn't really get going in the first round is her pass. You heard her coach, Ricardo Laborio, telling her in between rounds, get the takedown, pass to half. That's something she didn't do in the first round. Could she do it in round number three? Smart from Aguilar. Pushing off for pressure for base along the bottom of the cage. Aguilar definitely being stickier here in round three than we saw from her in either round one or round two. Well, it's really one or the other. Are you going to stick and pass or are you going to get room and you know, unload with your ground and pound? You've got to decide on one and go for it. Right here, she's kind of stuck in the middle. You see here, she has distance to throw punches. We gotta work, we gotta work. But not doing a lot from the top. Donick hooking the leg from the bottom. Aguilar closes distance once more. Donick looking for an arm bar. Nothing there. She's not in the right hip position to finish, especially on Jessica Aguilar. Left from Aguilar. Two minutes now remaining in this third and final round. It's a big mistake for Donick getting her guard back. I want to see some work. Let's go. I want to see some work. She showed in the first round. She's got a dangerous close guard. Come on. This last round. Let's see She's some able work. Come on. To stifle the offense of Aguilar. It's a new episode of Urban Tarzan Tuesday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Spike. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's work. Let's work. Referee George Ortiz growing impatient. You see here offensively, Aguilar not getting anything done. Her left arm is trapped, just released it. You see here, short round and pound, but not really able to get anything going on top. Jimmy, if referee George Ortiz stands up these two, how much do you think that favors Vidonic? And there is the stand up. I think the stand up favors Vidonic a lot, simply because simply because she's being aggressive on the feet earlier. I said Aguilar's just looked a little flat in this fight. You see here, Vidonic pushing the action moving forward. With a couple of knees. And he's not getting through. Aguilar again, pulling Vidonic back. Very late in this fight now. 15th and final minute. There you go. Use her. Spin her out. Spin her out of here. Aguilar, spin her out of here. To the side by Vidonic. Donic with the wrist control. Looking to turn to a counter knee. This just has not been the explosive Jessica Aguilar that we've come to see inside the Bellator cage. Now, so like I said, you know, she just hasn't gotten her timing in this fight, and it's going to be very, very close, Sean. Very close. Five seconds. 15 minutes up, 15 minutes down. Will we have a major upset in the Bellator cage? Both fighters raising arms showing great sportsmanship. No animosity between these two whatsoever. Uh, Jessica Aguilar is one of the sweetest people I know, period. 
Donick also extremely personable. As a first fighter to actually make cookies for Bjorn Redman, which she did, I ate a few and they're pretty good. Pretty good. So two fights now. The first February 2012 with the full 15 minutes. That woman, Jessica Aguilar, got a unanimous decision. Will it be the turn for that woman, Patricia Bedonic, in this second fight? Jimmy, how do you have it scored? I have it 29-28, Patricia Bedonic. It all comes down to that first round. That's how I see it. I thought Vedonic won the, the second pretty clearly, but Aguilar won the third, although that one was a little bit closer. But that first round, could Vedonic win from her back? Will Patricia Vedonic get a career-defining win? Or will Jessica Aguilar keep her run going? Is the number one rated fighter in the world of women's MMA at 115 pounds? Either way, a lackluster fight. Generally, yes. It's hard to add up a bunch of tens and nines. 10-10-9, 10 10 It's going to come down to that first round. I was thinking about the days of boxing in the 15-rounders, especially oh, before people had calculators, doing it all by hand in the 40s. Let's go to Michael Williams and end all suspense. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll call to your judges' scorecards where your first judge, Chris Lee, scores the fight 29-28, to 28, seeing the fight for Aguilar. Your second judge, Richard Davis, scores the fight 29 to 28, seeing the fight for Vidanek. Your third and final judge, Mike Ross, scores the fight 29 to 28 for the winner. By split decision, Jessica Chag Aguilar. A few boos meeting that decision, Jimmy. Well, like I said, a lackluster fight. You know, I gave it to uh, Vedonic, but barely. I'm not surprised that much by the decision, but the crowd not happy with the fight, Sean. The closest of margins, Jessica Aguilar gets the split decision win, a career pro MMA victory.